it must have been 1980, Jesus, late 80s. In the, in the 80s, some of us were active in the youth and student movement. It was like almost impossible to imagine being out. It was almost impossible to imagine even raising the idea of being lesbian or being gay. It was almost impossible to imagine that you could even have an agenda for liberation as a gay lesbian person. I won't talk about LGBTQI, I, I, I could the truth is that we're talking gay and lesbian. It was impossible to imagine that that was possible. And the context defined very much a, a, you know, fighting the anti apartheid it was not at that moment what we talk about intersectionality, what we talk about, you can't disconnect the one piece with the other piece. But the enemy was clear. The enemy was <coughs> apartheid, at least we, that's what we all thought in the country. The enemy was apartheid and we needed to get rid of apartheid. Um, reading Simon's life, one sees that he understood that his very existence was revolutionary to exist as a black gay male body person at the time he existed in was a revolution, proclaiming his multiple identities through insisting that his comrades in all his struggles acknowledge all his selves in their entirety. He was able to queer and therefore disrupt both the anti-apartheid struggle and the gay movement in South Africa. The significance of Simon, I want to add two things to what Simon said in his speech. And those, he said, I'm black and I'm gay and I'm not going to separate those. <clears throat> but he also said, I'm from a township. He was from Sebel King. And he took part in a massive uprising against the apartheid state on the 4th of September 1984, 31 years ago. And in that, Simon's memory speaks to us also about class issues. And he also said a fourth thing, a very important thing, which is that I'm an activist. And that speaks to our current commitment in our country, on our continent, to doing something. But most importantly, when Simon opened up, the lesson that is learned there is about raising the voice actively about access to treatment, access to services, and also acknowledging that we are all affected. And if we don't raise that voice today, we are going to lose out on our own social and structural issues. Thank you.